So you're a streamer and you like to show how many times you died in the game, but your death count is just so basic and tedious to set up, especially when you switch between games. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have an epic death counter using StreamerBot that also remembers deaths in every game you play, so you don't have to remember every time you switch games. Before I get started, did you know I stream on Twitch? Yeah, that's twitch.tv forward slash Zamaxi. I'm currently playing through a backlog of games I've never played before, so why not give me a follow while you're at it? So first things first, if you go to the coffee shop link down below, you can get the death counter from here and it's completely free. But of course, if you fancy on adding a cheeky tip, then that will be truly amazing and super grateful. Make sure you check the requirements though, because as you can see, you are going to need plugins such as the move source filter. Let's enter zero and proceed with the steps to get the product. You will receive a zip file containing a .mbt file and also a cinematic boom.mp3 file, which will be used later. In StreamerBot, click on the hamburger menu, then import. Drag the .mbt file into the import string. You will see a list of actions, the queue, and also the commands. Click on import. StreamerBot may disable your commands by default, so just remember to enable them, otherwise the commands won't work. Make sure the exclamation mark maxi setup is enabled and then type it into chat. You will then see a new scene created for you on your scenes list. Go into it and you'll see two sources. The death counter number is blank for some reason, but that's okay. Just go into the properties and type a number like zero and you'll see it show up properly. If you go into the filters for the number, the shake filter is enabled. Just turn that off for now. Now go into your main scene that you use for gaming or showing content. Add a new scene within the sources selection and select the death counter that was just created. You then need to move the death counter all the way to the bottom and make sure it is located underneath your gaming source. My gaming source is called NS Display. Back into StreamerBot, go into the death counter setup action and check the two sub actions. The first one you will need to provide the value which is the name of your gaming scene. Mine is called Gaming as you can see but yours will be different so make sure the value matches the name of your scene. For the second part, this is important, you will need to get the source ID of your game capture source. In my OBS, my gaming capture source is called NS Display, but that name is useless. I need the ID for it. So if you go into obs-raw.streamer.bot, click on the search bar and on the top left and then type in get scene item and look for where it says get scene item blend mode. In Param 1, you need to add your scene name, which in my case is Gaming, and in Param 2 is the name of my game capture source, which is NS Display. Click on Send Request, and you will see that my scene item ID is 6. Yours will most probably be a different number. Now that we have the number, add it to the value in the sub action. And you're done with the setup. Before we forget, go into the animation action and make sure you update the play sound sub action as by default it will be set to my location which will not be the same for you. Double click on it and then double click on the cinematic.mp3 file that came with the zip package. Now we are all done. If I type in exclamation mark deaths, I can see the current deaths I have for the current game I'm streaming. If I do exclamation mark def plus, then it will add a def. Def plus is the only command that plays the animation. You can do exclamation mark def minus to subtract a def which won't play an animation. You can do exclamation mark reset defs to turn the defs back to zero. Now let's change the game. Let's say Assassin's Creed Origins. Once I've changed the game, you can see the def counter is on zero defs because this is a new game I chose to stream and therefore will have its own def counter. And if I go back to Mass Effect, the def counter will remember the defs I had for that game. Now when setting this death counter up, I did have issues trying to create a exclamation mark set deaths. However, if you want to set how many deaths you had in the game, then you can go into streaming boards and click on the variables button on the top. You will see a list of death counter variables for different games. This is how the death counter remembers how many deaths you had per game. You can change the value of deaths you had per game and this information will be reflected onto your death counter. If you don't want the def animation to play, then I recommend you disable the animation action in StreamerBot, and for safe measure, disable the set OBS GDI text sub actions as well. 
you can also change the Twitch messages that show up to your liking. By default, the Twitch message for when you change game is disabled because personally, I don't think many people would use that, but you can enable it if you like. Feel free to play around with the animation stuff if you are comfortable on what you are doing. In my stream, I made it so that the death counter zooms in on the screen before it disappears. So if you fancy doing something like that, then play around with the move filter plugin that you should have installed with this tool. Well, there you have it. Let me know how you found this tool and leave a like on the video if you liked it and do me a favor and subscribe if you want more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch as well, but you know how it is. Stay awesome, stay safe and stay breathtaking.